why am I passionate about it? I mean, when we run a GWAS array on an individual, we get genetic variation on the autosomes and the sex chromosomes, and actually usually on the mitochondria as well. And since we've paid for it, we might as well use it. And now the emphasis is for common diseases. We don't just want to identify your genotype at one or two loci across the genome to predict risk for disease. For example, um, predicting risk for, say, breast cancer in the population, there's a genetic score that combines uh, like 100,000 SNPs across the genome um, in terms of getting the best performing multi-SNP predictor for breast cancer and similarly for many other diseases. So why would we want to exclude the X chromosome from that predictor when potentially we have good quality data and there are likely signals on the X chromosome.